It all started with a story about a church in a cemetery as part of a community heart and soul project to uncover what matters most. The Elias Van Buren Parker left the Civil War and came over the mountains to the little small town of Mount Holly Springs and settled in the 1800s. He built a church there that served his community for a century. Our little church was the little church at the foot of the mountain. Sunday morning, it was a given that I was going to get up and go to Sunday school and church because my aunt Ethel was the Sunday school teacher. Wafting across the, the pasture or, the, or through the woods, you would hear the gospel singers and people singing and, and all of that. So of course I was drawn to that church. After World War II, work for African Americans was scarce in Mount Holly, and many families moved away. The AME Church closed its doors in the 70s, with everything from hymnals to the organ inside. But four decades later, its story led to action. I personally did not know anything about the AME Church. I had never even been down Cedar Street before. And from Harriet's interview, I just was impassioned to know about it. And of course, I love old buildings. When I saw it, I didn't see what some people see. I saw the beauty in it because we saw an opportunity. And with Mount Holly Springs, we have lost so much. A lot of the historic buildings were torn down, gone. Uh, the railroad stations, the big Victorian homes, the mansions in Mount Holly were torn down and replaced with sheets, gas, and Dollar General. And I'm thinking, gosh, all this stuff is gone. And then this opportunity for the, the church came along. and. That's why I'm interested. We did the first step, getting the, getting the artifacts and, the, and all of the furnishings and everything out of the church. We needed a storage trailer, and my husband was like, okay, we can do that. It's, it, it's extremely important to me to know that that history is preserved for my children and my children's children. We had 22 people arrive, of volunteers. Uh, we got all the shrubberies planted on the corner of the, of the uh, cemetery. We got all the contents out, including the player piano, but we had all these people working and helping, and we got it all finished and done and in safekeeping. That, that church and that cemetery is a tangible piece of my history that I never thought that I would find. I want to make sure that my kids have something to hold on to that when I'm gone, they can look back and say, you know, my great, great, great grandfather fought in the 25th uh, colored infantry in the Civil War. You know, they know that. Um, I didn't know that growing up. That means that he fought, he fought for, the, for our country. I feel like this little place in the world is special. This is a perfect example of how we can pull together, and this community has done that. This yeah. community is that example. This church is part of African American history. It's part of Mount Holly's history. It's part of Cumberland County's history. Um, it plays into a much wider narrative than just being a personal family connection. And that's where we're at at the moment, is working to preserve both the items inside the church and the memory of the church as well, along with the cemetery. It's a nice place here. And the church is, is a nice reminder of, of what made us all the way we are. It gave us a solid foundation. I'll get teary. It gave us a solid foundation. This, this made me who I am. It made my brothers who they are. So I am delighted and thrilled and whatever you want to call it to know that somehow, some way, before I pass away, I'll be able to see the legacy that my grandfather left.